Welcome back guys to the PvP build for Lost Death DLC. I'm our Magic Connector this time, but not with Harmony Bomber, but with something similar. I used three synergies, the first one still Avid Boneyard, with the Grave Robber synergy, a ton of AoE damage. Second one, Griffin's Reprisal. I used this set already on my Stamina Necromancer, really impressed about it. Deeds a ton of AoE bleed damage. And it's also a synergy, which means you can increase the damage with harmony, with the jewelry trait. And the third synergy is Lady Thorn, our monster set. Casting an ability to cost health spawns a blood ball for 10 seconds. Then you can use a synergy, which deals around 3k AoE disease damage. And it even applies Major Maim for 8 seconds. Pretty nice. We can easy proc it with the Necro Purge. Expansion Modify, which removes two negative effects and gives Magicka Stamina back. And on top, 3% death costs on all our abilities, included Downbreaker Ultimate. Pretty nice. Combined with Markun as Mythic, Backbar Rallying Cry for extra crit resistance and weapon spell damage, and 120 as filler for extra HP. I'm on two heavy pieces, one medium. And four light armor pieces with four sturdy and three well fitted. We don't need impen, we have more than enough crit resistance frame cry. Full prismatic glyphs on the body, jewelry full harmony to increase our synergy damage, two spell damage, and one recovery, two maces for extra pen and non sharp, flame poison, back bar, sword and board, none and sturdy with the escapist poisons. Skills, Expunge Modify, our Perch, which also procs Lady Thorn, then Stalking Blast Bones, a Spam of a Hungry Scythe, which deals a good amount of damage, around 3 to 4 KOE damage, and gives also a Bursty plus a Hot, really cool. Then Mortal Coy for Sustained Teething, Avid Boneyard for the Boneyard Synergy for Grave Robber, Downback of Smiting as Aggressive Ultimate, Back bar plus armor for minor major breach, race against time, resistant flash as burst here, beckoning armor instead of the other morph, pulls the enemy after 2 seconds if you get attacked by a range attack. Pretty strong against all those snipers and range DDs. Spirit Guardian as heal and 10% damage mitigation and as defense for ultimate spare war. Race Khajiit. For extra 12% crit damage, probably not the best race, but it's also my PvE char. Imperial, Breton, higher for Dharma should be probably better. Mondos, the Atonarch for extra magical region, Clockwork Cities for DS buff food, 44 points in magic and the rest in health. Potions, we need to use the spare power potions with sorcery and prophecy, because I simply don't have uh, bar space on my front bar for inner light, karma hunter or degeneration. Against multiple targets, if you're really under pressure, just use the tricep potions. Then CPs, biting all master arms, ironclad do a sweep buff, red one celebrity, sustained by suffering, pain refuge, and slippery. Quick talk about one possible combination. Make sure to pre off yourself first with race against time, beckoning armor and spirit guardian, and place pure's armor for minor major breach. Then start with Stalking Blast Bones, try to keep some distance to increase damage, followed by Avid Boneyard, place it directly on the target, step closer, use Stormbreaker into Expunge, and directly afterwards spam your Synergy button for all three Synergies combined with Scythe. That's it with another PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video, peace.
close your eyes. Close your eyes.